My name's Hannah. I'm a registered nurse at Memorial Health System on the Women and Newborn Unit. I am here to talk to you about nitrous. We use nitrous as a pain management option for during the labor and birthing process. Um, nitrous is most commonly known for being used in dental offices for to help with dental anxiety and like discomfort during dental procedures, but most people don't know that you can use it for labor and delivery discomfort during that process. So what it is, is a gas that they hold the mask over their face. It is 100% patient controlled. The mother has to hold the mask over her own face. So there's no risk of getting too much or overdosing with the nitrous because if she starts getting too much, she's gonna get very drowsy and sleepy and her hand will move from her face or she'll drop the mask. And within a few short minutes, the effects will be over and she will be back to the way she was. Helps her relax in between contractions and helps her get herself refocused, recentered, recollected for the next contraction. I think that any patient that has been in labor and has gone through the laboring process, whether they ended up with an epidural or not, I think any of them can tell you that they reached a point in the labor process where pain, exhaustion, anxiety, stress, just start to wear, wear them down, wear down their resolve. It just gets you right back in that set of mind where you can decide what you want to do to maintain their goals if they have them or gives them the opportunity to think about what they want to do if they want to change their goals. And that's the great part of where nitrous can come in. Most patients are eligible to use the nitrous oxide mask. Um, most patients that if they can't, it would be related to respiratory conditions like a pneumothorax, or if they've had previous bad reactions with nitrous, most people would have had that experience probably in the dental office. I've also had several patients that still ended up getting an epidural after using nitrous, but I think the great thing about nitrous for them is that it gave them the opportunity to make that choice. That's the benefit of using nitrous versus an epidural. Epidurals you become bed bound with. You can no longer get out of bed and do position changes or walk around or do any of those things if you're trying to do that. Nitrous, within a couple of minutes, the effects are completely worn off and the mother can get out of bed. She can walk around. She can use a birthing ball. She can do whatever she wants. And that's, that's the great part about it. She, just has the mobility to do whatever she needs to do to make this the best experience for herself.